Hello everyone. My name is Hector Mendoza. I am here to show you some Xactimate keyboard shortcuts. Actually, it's only two of them on this video. And that those shortcuts is your left bracket and your right bracket. So in Xactimate, when you are uh, doing doors and you have a bunch of them, then it's real hard to figure out which way or which keyboard to use to change the hinges or going from inside to outside. And so what I got here, so basically your left bracket, your left bracket is gonna move anything from side to side, in other words, from left to right, regardless if it's a, if you're moving uh, from inside to outside or you're changing the hinges from left to right, if it's horizontally on a vertical plane uh, wall, then your right bracket is going to move things up and down. So sometimes it's going to be your hinges that go up and down. Sometimes it's going to be your doors that go up and down, and and so basically this is what this is what it does. First of all, these are the two keyboards that I'm talking about. It's your left bracket and your right bracket. When you're looking at a wall horizontally, your left bracket is going to change your hinges. Your right uh, bracket will change uh, things from side to side. It could be your hinges or it could be your doors. Now when you're thinking of vertical, your left hinges are going to move things up and down. In other words, like, see if you're looking at something vertically, this door would go the opposite way. This door would go, you know, the opposite way. Okay, now when you're looking at vertical, so let's say that this hinges were on the wrong side, you would hit the right bracket because it's going to change it from here to here. So it, it moves everything up and down, and your left, your left moves from left to right. And let me let me show you an exactimate. Okay, so. I got a, uh, <clears throat> I have an image that I have imported as an underlay. This is a hospital. So now, so I'm going to enlarge so we can see this uh, doors. Okay, so if you notice that great image in the back my hinges and the door direction is going the wrong direction so th this kind of problem is real easy to change because all you're going to do is have your left bracket right bracket okay now here you have to know which bracket to hit you see the hinges are good but we need to move the 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 door to the right Okay, so you know all you have to do is hit your left bracket. Okay, so we're gonna go down. The hinges are good. Now we just want to go side to side. So if you want to go side side to side, you're gonna hit your left bracket. Now here, the hinges are wrong, but the way the door opens is okay. So remember. All I want to do is go left to left to change my uh, my hinges. So I'm going to hit the left bracket. Here, the right bracket is okay. I want to move my doors up and down. So I use my right bracket because we're going up and down. Here, both of them are incorrect. So that's I, I love those because you just hit, hit both. Oh, excuse me. I guess I, I must have looked at it wrong. Okay, let me escape from there. Okay, so I need to go up and down 
So I'm going to hit my uh, right bracket. Okay, here, the brackets and the hinges are opposite. So I hit each keyboard. Here, the, the hinges are okay. I want to go up and down because I want to go from out to in. So if I want to go uh, how, uh, vertical, I'm going to hit my right bracket. Okay, so let's keep on uh, moving down. This one here, it, the the direction is going correct uh, right, but my uh, my hinges are correct. So now we're talking, you know, vertical up and down. So you're going to use your right bracket. Here, same thing, you know, side to side is okay. Now we just got to go, you know, change our, our vertical. So uh, to change the vertical, it's going to be right bracket. Here, the way the door opens, it's okay, but the hinges are wrong. So now we're looking and moving the uh, hinges vertically, so you're going to use your right bracket. Here, the door, the hinges are okay. We got to move to the left, so you know we're going to um, we're going to move side to side. So that's going to be your left bracket. Here, I love those easy ones. Oops. It's a, uh, so, okay, so this one here, the hinges are okay. So remember, we just got to flip vertical, so that's your right bracket. Same thing here. We're just going to use our right bracket. Oh, sorry about that. I keep on. Okay, so up and down, sideways is okay. We just got to go vertical. Excuse me, we got to go horizontal. So we're going to hit the left bracket. Here, both of them are incorrect. Here, both of them are incorrect. Here, it's going, the door's open incorrect, but the hinges are wrong vertically. So we're going to hit the right bracket. And then here. The hinges are okay, so from side to side, you're going to hit your left bracket because we want to move that door inside. Here, both of them are incorrect. Correct, correct. Same thing here. This is the, the, the way the door is open, it's okay, but up and down, the hinges are wrong. So when you're talking up and down, that's flipping vertically, you're going to use your right bracket. Oh, man. I keep doing it. Okay. Um, here, both of them are incorrect. You said the hinges are wrong. Oh, no, the hinges are, 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 are wrong, but the opening is okay. So we're looking at vertical to change something uh, vertically. And we're going to use the right bracket for that. So that changes all those doors. Okay. And um, so the reason that it's really important to use those, because, you know, when I draw something like this, I draw everything to, you know, because uh, let me show you. If I was going to do all this doors. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this doors here so I can uh, show you how fast it is to put doors in a in a sketch. I'm trying to select everything. By the way, I'm holding my shift key while I'm selecting each door. All I'm going to do is hit the delete key. Now I don't have no doors. A trick. Oh, here's another door here. 
There's one here, and there's another one there. Okay, so, oh, there's another one. Okay, so, now, <clears throat> if I hit D, that's going to give me my door uh, key. So, see, if I click here, it gave me a door. Now, if I click again, it don't do nothing, right? Okay, so let me show you a little trick. To, this way you can do things real fast. I'm going to hit D again for door. I'm going to hold my control key. And all, now all I'm going to do is click where I want a door because I'm holding my control key after I hit the, uh, the D button. So watch. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. Uh, that one, oh, there's no door there. Okay, click, click. Okay, see how fat? Oops, I have to cut one. Click right here. Um, this here is just an opening. Let me escape. Those are just actually openings that. Okay, so now, so what I was showing you earlier, see, I was enlarging and reducing just to show you, but, you know, uh, but look how simple that is. You just, uh, the, oops, excuse me. okay, so this one here is going in, so all we need to do is, you know, go vertically. Here, same uh, same thing is going in, so you just hit vertical. Here, same thing, vertical. Here, uh, we're still going to go vertical. Uh, so it's your right. Uh, uh, okay, here we're going to go vertical. Which, excuse me, it's called horizontal. Horizontal will be your left. Same thing here, left. Here, we're going to go up and down. Here, we're going to do both of them. Here, we're going to go sideways. So, you know, sideways is going to be your left uh, left bracket. Same thing here, left bracket, left bracket, left bracket. Now, that one's at an angle, so that th those are kind of hard. Okay, here, we're just going to go uh, left to right, left bracket. Go up and down, that bracket. And then... Uh, change the uh, bra uh, brackets, excuse me, uh, the hinges. Here, we're going to go up and down. Up and down is right bracket. Uh, here, we've got to do both of them. Here, uh, all we got to do is go horizontally. So you see how fast you can do uh, a root? And this is a big, big office. So we're just going up and down on this one, so right bracket. So when when you learn these commands, it it's real real. You can do uh, a little job like this real 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 fast. Okay, so I showed you how to do those wind uh, those uh, doors. You got the same thing with your windows. So I'm gonna deselect everything here. I'm gonna select. Just select every, uh, excuse me, select every window so I can delete them for you. Okay, delete. Oh, here's another window. Now, here's a little trick. You see how I can't see my windows back there? Now, if I hit Shift O for outline, now I can see my windows, right? Remember, Shift. Zero. Oh, shift. Oh. See now you now you can see this is outline. Uh, so now I'm gonna hit W for window. I'm gonna hold my control key, and all I'm gonna do is just click right in the middle of each window, and it places those windows. So if all your window, these are just standard windows. So if it, most houses are gonna have about the same kind of windows uh, throughout. So normally what I do is I will do the first one, I will change the width, the height, 
the base height. You see how fast that was? Then what I do is I copy that one. So let me undo everything real quick. Let me, let me show you uh, this other trick. Uh, so let me see how many undo's it'll let me do. Yeah, it's only gonna let me undo that many undo's. Okay, so let me show you another little trick here. Actually, there's a lot of tricks in, in, in Windows indoors. Okay, so now we're gonna disregard that that window is a standard window. Okay, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put a window here, okay? And so, see, that's what that window looks like right in here, okay? So now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the whole window. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it, I'm going to keep the width. I don't know, let, let's go ahead and change it to six. Now, the base height, I'm going to change it to 2, and then the height, I'm going to change it to 2. Okay, so now let me show you what it looks like now. You see, it looks totally different, right? Okay, now, so I'm going to hit Control C, and I'm going to hit Control V, hold my uh, control button and watch. Oh, there's one there already. Okay, so F3. You see the difference between those two? You see all those other doors? Because I copied, I paste, I held my control key where I didn't have to hit control, control, control V, control V, control V. I left that one alone so that you could see that it those changes, uh, you know, and I guess I didn't change that one there. So, um, okay. So, that's how easy it is to draw. Once you learn your commands, it makes your job a lot easier. When I'm out there, if there's a command, I will make myself use that command. It slows my job during that one job, and I keep on having to go back and forth to my notes to learn how to use those commands. But at the end, after a week of using that same command, or let's say a day or whatever it takes to memorize these things, and you can go down there and do, and I, I can sketch a whole house real quick. And that's because I, I, I do, do, I use nothing but commands. Okay, guys, if you have questions, uh, I'm going to put my email out there. Uh, if I'm out on the if I'm out on the field, I don't answer too many emails because I'm making money. But if I'm not out there making money, I love teaching because I learn from teaching people. I've learned more from teaching than I have getting out there in the field or learning myself. Well, guys, again, my name's Hector Mendoza. You'll see a bunch of my videos. If you do a search for Hector Mendoza and type Symbility or type Exactimate, you'll see a bunch of my uh, my videos. Thanks for watching my video.